Under law, VEPCO is required to file with the State Corporation Commission an estimate of what it expects to pay for fuels during the coming year. The company says its fuel bill will probably jump 29% in 1980 for the following reasons. The cost of oil is expected to jump 10%, and VEPCO predicts coal prices will climb between 7 and 10%. That means instead of the $778 million the company paid for fuels this year, VEPCO's fuel bill in 1980 is expected to hit the $1 billion mark, 10 times what it was in 1970. Because VEPCO expects to pay more, the utility expects you to do likewise. If the State Corporation Commission grants approval, the average bill of a residential customer would increase $7.10 a month due to the increased cost of fuel. And that would mean a rate hike of 12.7%. But there is one bright spot in all this, at least according to VEPCO. It involves the utility's North Anna Nuclear Generating Station. VEPCO expects the federal government to give the okay for putting the station back in service December 1st. This will mean a savings to you of about $3 a month, according to VEPCO. In other words, your high fuel bills in 1980 could be $3 more without North Anna. Tony Rawls, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Norfolk.